What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine. Wanted to come on here and give a quick video uh, about my FBA journey. Uh, I've been selling on Amazon FBA since February 2017. Uh, our first year in sales, uh, we did uh, just short of $36,000. Uh, in total sales, um, just under 3,000 units sold. I wanted to come on here and start kind of documenting my journey. The way it worked out for us is we started out selling a trendy product, which full disclosure, we actually started selling uh, pop sockets before they uh, were pulled. So we started selling pop sockets. Uh, our initial investment, I know a lot of people ask how much you know do you need to get started with Amazon FBA and realistically, uh, we started out with 200 bucks. Uh, it was myself and a business partner. Uh, I put in 100 bucks because I wasn't really sure how this was going to go. He put in 100 bucks to kind of match uh, what we were going to do. Pop sockets were a dollar a piece. Um, so we ordered them off of DHgate. Um, pop sockets came in. We created the listings. I took my own photos. I created my own listing. Sent them off into Amazon FBA and we started selling. Uh, we were hoping to sell 100 in the first month. We ended up selling 100 in the first week, you know, another 100 on week two. We were on page one in three days. We were the number one listing after five days uh, under our keyword uh, that we chose, which wasn't PopSocket at the time. And needless to say, we were hooked immediately. At our prime, we were averaging 20 to 30 units a day. Obviously, with the PopSockets, and I don't know if any of you guys were a part of that, um, with PopSockets, uh, the patent actually ended up coming through. PopSockets uh, sent us some really nice emails uh, that we couldn't sell those anymore. Uh, so we had to pull those. So our first product got pulled. Uh, our second product was also a kind of trendy item at the time. We were selling fidget cubes. Same thing, took off. Our PopSockets, we didn't run any PPC at all. Uh, we got our first sale. First day it went live. Uh, we had one sale the first day, three sales the second day, uh, and then like five or six on the third day. By day four, we had like 11 sales and we were on page one. So again, no PPC. We started with fidget cubes. Fidget cubes were a little different. We actually had to start, we started with auto campaign uh, for our PPC. We ended up doing like 30, 40, 50. I think our best day ever was about 100 units, a uh, little over 100 units in a day between the pop sockets and the fidget cubes. Our pop sockets got pulled. Uh, we got pulled once, infringement, but they didn't pull our listing. Uh, we just had to submit a claim. The listing was live again. Uh, we ran out of inventory a couple of times, so that always sucks. Um, and then we got pulled again on the pop sockets, so we didn't learn, sent them out the door one more time, uh, and then finally got pulled third time for our pop sockets, so we didn't go live. But uh, in that time, we also started selling our fidget cubes. Uh, our fidget cubes started selling, again, auto campaign, and we were just running a $50 a day auto campaign, nothing else. We didn't know, you know, anything about PPC and optimization. We underestimated the volume of sales that we were gonna do for our cubes. I think first order was like 500. The second order was like a thousand. Uh, and we just ran out of stock. When we ran out of stock on the fidget cubes, it really hurt. Our sales ranking dropped so low that when we were able to restock and we were back in inventory, uh, our sales ranking was so low and we, we could not compete because the market grew in a two week time frame so much that all the sales that we were doing, all the momentum that we had, we just completely lost. So at this point now, we're, our pop sockets are pulled, our fidget cubes were no longer performing the way we first projected. So we kind of got a little discouraged with Amazon FBA. After the pop sockets were pulled the first time, uh, myself and my business partner, we decided to kind of expand and do something else. So we started doing eBay as well. And we started doing liquidation pallets. Liquidation pallets on eBay is a whole different monster. So uh, this was right about the May timeframe. Uh, so we started in February. It's now May with liquidation pallets and Amazon FBA. You kind of want more newer type stuff. You, uh, at least in my mind, you needed polished quality type things to sell on Amazon because you wanted to, to reach for a higher price point. Uh, for Amazon. So selling used stuff on Amazon 
didn't really appeal to me personally. So we kind of started pushing into this uh, liquidation pallet game and eBay. And that kind of took off um, a little bit for us. We started doing fairly well with that and, and pretty consistent, but it was a lot of effort, right? It was a lot of work. Because we were discouraged with Amazon FBA, we kind of focused on eBay. And pretty much for the rest of the year, we just did eBay. There were some items that we sent into Amazon from the, the pallets if they were in good enough condition and we, they weren't restricted um, to sell. So we pretty much ended the year. Uh, so from June to December, we just pushed for eBay and we tried to build our eBay store uh, as much as possible. We just, uh, you know, kept listing items and listing and listing and listing and, you know, lots of late nights uh, testing products and getting products cleaned up and you know, long mornings shipping and, and driving to the post office every single day. And we did okay, right? We did decent numbers. After doing eBay to December, the turning point for me was um, Q4. Everyone talks about Q4. I've seen incredible numbers uh, from other sellers on eBay and Amazon for Q4. And so there was this huge push to kind of get as much inventory as we possibly could listed on our eBay store. If it was good enough to send in the FBA, send it in the FBA, but we just kept pushing, 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 right? For this Q4 push. Q4 came, Q4 went for us. There was a maybe 5% increase or something like that for our sales volumes and the amount of work that I was doing to try to prep for Q4 running a eBay physical product store versus an Amazon FBA store was not worth it for me. At the end of the year, we started running the numbers and even though we stopped actively doing Amazon FBA as far as the private label game and, and and sourcing products, um, and we were just kind of doing this arbitrage game with eBay, adding some products into our Amazon FBA store. Even through all of that, we still ended up doing more in sales on Amazon than we did in eBay. So gross sales for Amazon still ended up being more than we did in eBay for the year. Uh, Amazon, we ended up with $35,000 in sales. And I believe on eBay, we ended up with like $24,000 in sales, which, you know, at the time I was trying, we were so focused on just getting products out the door and it felt like we were doing decent numbers. We, I knew we weren't doing amazing numbers because a lot of times you see Amazon FBA sellers, you know, doing 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month on eBay. We were, you know, we, we thought it was a good month if we did four grand. I knew we weren't crushing it but i thought okay well maybe it's just it, it, it's just the ebay game versus the amazon game and we weren't doing private label and you know again we were still so discouraged from private label because the products got pulled and uh, you know things weren't going well backtrack uh, there was actually a third product that we tried to launch and that just it was it was a bad product uh, kind of caught the tail end of the trend trying to be trendy uh, and it just, it didn't take off at all. So, you know, we had some inventory, we were kind of getting storage fees and things like that. So, but at the end of the year, after all of was said and done, we still ended up making more money at, on Amazon uh, than we did in eBay as far as units sold and gross sales. So after the new year turned and we kind of took a break and we sat back and I, I made the decision uh, that I was going to separate from my partner because he really wanted to do eBay. And I really started getting back into researching Amazon FBA uh, and, and new techniques and uh, came across like Sam Abrax's videos and KT9's videos and seeing that these guys in less than a year were quitting their jobs and having successful Amazon FBA stores. And it was at that point that I said, you know, we're, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to spend the amount of time and effort that I spent you know, listing products and cleaning products and shipping products uh, for eBay. The capital that we, we we spent, you know, all the money that we earned up front off of the pop sockets and the fidget cubes and that huge rush, we just turned that inventory, all that cash flow into inventory for eBay and pallets instead of turning that back into product research and pushing out more private label products for Amazon FBA. So when the end of the year happened and I'm thinking about all of the 
the funds that we ended up spending on eBay, I knew that eBay wasn't for me. I wanted to get back into Amazon FBA. I, I didn't want to let this opportunity slip from my hands and to be able to try to get the type of results that some of the other people that I've been watching for so long uh, we're doing so this channel what I want to do is I want to start kind of documenting my restart process of this Amazon FBA journey I think what I can do is kind of give some insight to folks who are kind of chasing the same bigger people that that I'm chasing you know looking at your your KT9s and your Samer Braxes and your Ryan Daniel Morans and your Kevin Davids, right? So we're, we're trying to get to that point, but there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of learning. There's a lot to to really understand and, and to, to really be successful. Um, I've had some little success. I've had a, a fraction of the success that I'm actually trying to get to, but I figured I can add some value. I can kind of hopefully um, maybe answer some questions for you guys, kind of point you in the right direction. I'm still learning. You know, I'm by no means am I an expert. By no means um, do I know everything. I'm still learning. The game uh, is evolving every day. So uh, I'm still learning. I'm hoping we can learn together. In the next video, I want to talk about restarting uh, my Amazon FBA store, basically brand new product research you know, brand new product research techniques, you know, what I did to launch my product, things like that. So if you like the video, uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit the notification button, uh, and let me know if you have any questions or anything, uh, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, and I hope that I can uh, answer any questions for you guys. And let's, let's start this journey together. All right, let's do what we do. Thanks guys.